So we now got question eight on the C4 uh, paper, the June 2005 one, and this is everyone's favourite type of question. It's uh, a nice differential equation one with some uh, integration in. So we've got liquid pouring into a container at a constant rate of uh, 20. Let's get blue. And it's leaking out at a rate of proportional. It's leaking out at a rate proportional to the volume of the liquid already in the counter, in the container. Explain why at time t seconds the volume V of the liquid and satisfies the differential equation dV dt. Okay. Um, so, well, just a little bit of explanation. You need two marks here. So, let's just go through it. dV dt uh, is equal to the rate of change, that phrase you should have heard before, the rate of change of the volume of liquid with respect to time. So the dv, dv dt is how the uh, volume is changing according to time. Well we've got this, so we've done that bit. The 20 is the uh, amount of liquid being added at a constant rate, so every second. So 20 is the uh, the amount of liquid being added per second. Added per second. And then we've got the minus kV. Well, there's a couple of bits here. Minus kV is the, is the amount of leaking uh, liquid. So it's the amount that's coming out of that. Okay, so well, k is the uh, constant of proportionality. Proportionality. And the negative, it means that it's a decreasing amount, means decreasing. So kV, it means that the amount of leaking out is proportional to the volume, okay? So it's kV, proportional to the volume means kV, and it's a minus kV because it means that amount is decreasing because it's leaking out. So just a little bit of explanation is needed for that. Okay, so we've now got the container is initially empty. Well, that's an important piece. We're going to need that in a sec, but let's just write down now because it comes in order. Well, that means the volume is zero when t is zero. Initially means t time is zero, and empty means the volume is zero. We've got to solve the differential equation showing that v is equal to a plus b e to the minus kt, where a and b um, a and B are constants basically, we've got even terms of K. So we've got this, we've got this, we've got dV dt. dV dt is equal to 20 minus kV. We've got to separate the variables on this. So we've got to get all the V's on one side and all the T's on the other. So the way I did it was I I divided everything by 20 minus kV. And that left me with dt. So I multiplied by dt and divided by 20 minus kv. And that's so I've separated the v's and the t's. And then I can go ahead. I can integrate this now. So on the right hand side, I'm going to get integral of 1, effectively with respect to t, is t plus our constant of integration. And on the left hand side, I'm integrating 1 over 20 minus kv. Well, that makes us, well, using kind of like spotting the pattern, it's all the reverse chain rule, minus 1 over k ln 20 minus kv. Let's check you understand how I got that. So we've got differentiating what was on the bottom is going to give us a minus k, so we need minus 1 over k log 20 minus kv. Now, when v is naught, When v is naught, 
t is naught. That was the initial conditions. So let's put those in. So minus 1 over k log 20 is equal to Oh, t is not, so it's just equal to c. So c is equal to minus 1 over k log 20. So we can put this all back together. We get minus 1 over k log 20 minus kv is equal to t minus, this is our c, 1 over k ln 20. And then we can, we can use the laws of logs here. So if we uh, take this to the other side, we're going to get plus 1 over k, and then we've got two logs added together. So we're going to get, well, we're going to get t is equal to 1 over k log, and then we're going to get a fraction, because if they're, uh, we've got a minus log here, and we're going to have a plus log when we put that over, so we're going to have 20 as the numerator, and as the denominator, we're going to have 20 minus kv. So t is equal to 1 over k ln 20 minus kv. Multiply both sides by k, we get kt is ln 20 over 20 minus kv. So we can now take, uh, let's move up here. So let's just divide this off. If we move back up to the top here. Uh, if we take uh, exponential of both sides, we get e to the kt is equal to 20 over 20 minus kv. And then we multiply both sides by the denominator, we get e to the kt brackets 20 minus kv is equal to 20. And then if we take we're trying to get v the subject of the formula, that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to get v on its own here. So we've kind of... Yeah, it's just kind of a bit of a mess really, isn't it? So we've just got to keep working at it, using our algebra skills. So that we'll divide by e to the kt. So that just gives us 20 minus kv is equal to 20 e. And you think, well, what's going on here? Well, I'm going to make it minus kt. So it's like a negative power, it's on the bottom really. And then I can just I can then just rearrange once I've got that to get V on its own. I'm going to bring this to the left, I take this to the right, and I get uh, 20 minus 20 e to the minus kt is equal to kv. And then we just have to divide, divide through by k, so then we get v equals. 20 over k minus 20 over k e to the minus k t. There we go. So we've got the values of a and b in terms of they're both actually 20 over k. So that's what we've got in terms of b. Uh, and we've shown that it now looks exactly like we were asked here. Let's go on to the next one. Oh, just to the point, key point, actually they're not both the same. A is positive 20 uh, over k and B is minus 20 over k. You could be funny like that if you wanted to. So just be careful about that. Now, we've just shown an expression. We've got dv dt. We also had just had the expression v. This is the one we've just worked out. v is equal to 20 over k minus 20 over k e to the minus kt and we're asked to find well we're given that the information that dv dt is 10 when t is 5 we need to find the volume of the, in the liquid 10 seconds after the star so we want to find the value of phi when t is 10 but we need to do some manipulation first okay um, because we actually don't know what this k, constant k is so dv dt is equal to 10 so we know that 10 is equal to 20 minus kv. But we also know an expression for uh, v, so let's write that out. 10 is equal to 20 minus 
k lots of 20 over k minus 20 over k e to the minus kt and then close my brackets and now I've got an expression that's just got k's and t's in it luckily for us these k's cancel so we've got 10 is equal to 20 minus um, what have we got 20 minus 20 plus 20 e to the minus kt and we know that t is also 5 so we can rearrange this we get 10 is equal to 20 e to the minus 5t because these t m 20s cancel out divide both sides by 20 1 half is equal to e to the minus 5t and then what have we got oh I've made a slight mistake here it's not k that should be let's change that and that um, it should be 5k because t k is what we're trying to find t is what we substituted in is t equals 5 in okay some of you are probably already thinking to yourself what's going on here so let's find out what k is take the log of both sides uh, log half is equal to minus 5k so therefore k is equal to minus one fifth than half okay which we can actually work out on our calculators if we wanted to um, you can just tap that in it's 0 0.13862 let's just divide off we've worked out what k is now that's um, we can now work out at t equals 10 and we actually leave the answer on our calculator at t equals 10 what do we have? v is equal to so we go back to our expression for v 20 over k minus 20 over k e to the minus kt but t is 10 so we can call this bit here e to the minus 10k and then we can just work that out on our calculators so we use the answer button we've got from here and then we just do 20 divided by answer minus 20 over answer e to the minus 10 answers and we get v is equal to 108.202.1281.1281 so that's the volume of the liquid after 10 seconds so let's just recap what we did. We had an expression for V, which we got from previous in the question. We used our initial conditions of uh, 10 and 5 up here, and we worked out what our constant K was. Once we found out what K was, we resubstituted it back into our volume expression, along with 10 seconds, because this is what, how much liquid we wanted to find it was in after 10 seconds, and then we just used our calculator to get the answer. It's quite a complicated question, differential equations. The method is the same every time, but is this one involved quite a lot of logarithms and exponentials and um, kind of keeping tabs on what was going on. Okay, so maybe you want to have a look at back over it.